Mom, happy birthday. Look. I got you little baby roses for your birthday. To be honest, these were in my room. Not sure why they're here, but I want you to have them. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Dear Mom, happy birthday. The one word that describes Kay, uh, I'm going to hyphenate here, so hopefully this is legal. The word is hubba hubba. But if I could only use one word, I'd probably say hubba. months ago during the summer when I was home and I don't know what was going on that day I just had a really bad day at work you have you have a magical way of just making all problems seem like they vanish so after practice on Thursday she saw that were me to me and they were really wet so she um, she took us to Starbucks and got us hot chocolate and I don't know it just it's really thoughtful so yesterday we were sitting in the bathroom having one of our crazy catch-up sessions and it was for like five minutes long while I was doing her makeup and then she just ended it with a big hug. The most recent moment when I loved the crap out of you was when you sent me that California shirt yesterday. <laughs> so thank you. The most recent moment I loved the crap out of her was just yesterday when she hugged McCall and told her how much she loved her. The last time I loved the crap of you, Mom, was after my senior pictures, I was super hungry and super tired. And you said, you know what, Dallin? You know what will cheer you up? Wendy's. And you know what cheered me up, Mom? Wendy's. describes her perfectly is tough. I like my women tough. One word to describe you, Mom. Probably have to go with fiery. Yeah. If I had to use one word to describe you, I would use consistent. Mom, mm -hmm. one word to describe you is fierce. Because everyone's a little bit afraid of you, but we love it when you're in our corner. And that's why no one messes with you. Because you got a little bit of Dan Yacoveta in you. And that's not a bad thing. Sometimes. But most of the time, it's a good thing. <laughs> one word to describe mom is kind. The one word I feel like describes her protective. The one word that describes her, I would say that she's divinely demanding. She has high standards. She expects people to live up to their potential. Word to describe mom is she's very selfless, even in the little things we do every day. Like, she goes to Chipotle just because she knows we all like it. I think one word that would describe you is superhero. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, so my favorite characteristic of you, Mom. Well, for one thing, you're a fantastic dancer, especially when you're listening to songs written and sung by Justin Timberlake. Actually, the, the characteristic that is really funny about her is that somebody always looks like somebody else. They look like Mark Larson. Uh, I like her Mark Larson doppelganger talent. One would be that you always wear your slippers. She also has one where she always, at the beginning of any football game or sporting event, she goes, I've got a bad feeling about this game. 
happens in the first quarter and then in the third quarter. Two is that you sit on the counter to do your makeup, which I appreciate because now I always do that. And three, that you always doodle. Like, you're amazing. You have amazing doodling skills, so. Oh, my favorite moment at home is when we're in the football games and then something really bad happens and she her feet like this. And then she gets all the moms to do it. And then, I don't know, that's my favorite thing. Probably wouldn't want me to tell you this, but she swears like a sailor. My favorite momism has got to be how you're not afraid to shed a few tears even though you are big, bad, and tough in that order. But it makes you a little bit more relatable and it shows your sensitive side. You know you're a good crier, you look good when you cry, and you cry a lot, but you're still big, bad, and tough in that order. My first memory of you, Mom. My first memory of Kay was there was this pretty girl in Spanish class at Golden High School. By chance, she and I were assigned to be Spanish partners in that class. Never in my life have I been so lucky. My first memory of mom was when I was little and it was like my third or fourth birthday party and we had a carnival birthday party and I just remember her working on all the like carnival toys that we used for my birthday party. My first memory of you has to be when I was in preschool and I wanted to ride my bike to Share Bears Preschool which was like three blocks away. So I rode my bike to school and you rode the car next to me to make sure I didn't die. So, thank you. Then, I was sick that morning, so you drove me to the preschool for a party. Then, you realized it was at Quaker Acres. So we drove to Quaker Acres. My first memory of mom was when I was really little, and she came in and tucked me in every night for bed. The first time that we met, it was at lunch at Zupa's, and after we went over to Catherine's apartment, and she was kind of moving in. Um, things while Catherine was at school and me and Tanner were sitting on the couch and he had told me that his family was not cool with anything PDA at all. So I was pretty nervous about it and we were holding hands on the couch and she walked out and I freaked out. And I kind of sat there and she looked at me and she was like, oh, you poor girl. <laughs> so my first memory of my mom would probably be before the drives to drink and before the Abraham Lincoln beer fiasco and probably before the Casper impersonations at dinner, and probably before I saw her cry at the Super Bowl or saw her scream during the Jazz Finals. And it's probably before the math, math problems during church. It's probably standing in line for the Dumbo ride at Disney. I think it's terrifying three-year-olds. Thinking about ways that I would like to become more like you, Mom, there, there are tons of them. What I really, really want is to find a person that I can live with the rest of my life that, that exhibits the same Christ what qualities that you do. I want to be just like mom, but there's a couple ways I especially want to be like mom. And the first way is I want mom's stride, like the way she walks. She walks with a purpose. And I just want that. Um, one way that I want to be like mom when I grow up is treating everyone kind and being thoughtful to everybody. I want to be like you when I'm a mom because you're kind and you're sweet and you're my Number two is I want mom to know gray hair. But I don't want gray hair and mom has no gray hair. I don't want no gray hair. I hope that I can learn to emulate the thoughtfulness that you have. You are just always thinking of other people. It's amazing. And you always do things to remind people that they are important and that you're invested in them. So I hope I can be like you in that way. Number three is I want to be like mom in the sense of how she's always so kind and um, giving. I just hope that someday I'm able to be the kind of mother that she is to her kids. I feel like she um, raises them to be supportive and loving and so kind and they all really have you know a mind of their own um, but they're all really there for each other. When I grow up mom I hope that I have your keen sense of finding things because I lose things and don't do my own laundry. So it's gonna be really tough when I'm trying to find a nice shirt to look nice for all the babes. I can't find it, but then wait. My Kay Jones detective searcher sense kicks in and I find it. I look super hot and I probably kiss the girl. And I hope my kids love me as much as we love her.
I love you, and I hope you have a good birthday. That is it. That is the memory. Hashtag. My favorite memory of you has got to be when you explain to me what happens when you assume. But anyways, I love you a lot. You mean the world to me. KYJ, you so dope. Happy birthday. Love you, Mom.